right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a close look at the supercharged Nitro Harley of Takeshi Shigematsu and DJ Don Johnson, the very, very accomplished crew chief over here. Walt from Pro Charger joins me. Walt, I don't think anybody could better explain what we're looking at here. Give me a little tour. Sure. Well, what you're looking at here is one of our centrifugal superchargers. Uh, we're running an F1A supercharger on this bike. Basically what this is, uh, a, a belt-driven supercharger. Uh, what these guys are doing with it is just incredible. You know, DJ and TAC have been around a long time, particularly working with our with our supercharger and, and innovating uh, when it comes to this part of it. We're real happy that they're, they're running the stuff and would really like to see them run some big numbers this weekend. Sure, now from your standpoint, you, you guys have had a lot of success over in the four-wheel world with this. You think it's gonna carry right on over to two wheels? Absolutely, I think that, uh, I mean, the technology is, is solid. You know, we've proven it in several other NHRA classes and radial races around the world. Uh, you know, we have, you know, more than 100 championships in 20 years of racing, so if anybody can do it, we think these guys can, but we think we can supply them the technology to get it done. Why do you think it took so long for this technology to come to the Nitro Harley? Well, I think there's a lot of different ways to do it, and really what it took was somebody that had the experience with this engine combination, and, uh, you know, that uh, that Wild West spirit to want to give it a shot, give it a try, and see what they could do with it. Um, you know, sometimes things are slow to move with technology, these guys have been making it happen for a long time with it, but if you want to run with some of the other guys, sometimes you, you need to try some new stuff to get it happen, make it happen. Now, you've already had a, a few fans fold because a few have walked by and said, that's a turbocharger. Tell me, how can you tell the difference? Well, the big way is, is that it runs a belt to drive it. So it, whether it's going to be on a Nitro Harley like this, running Where's a belt. Where's the belt for this one? Uh, the belt is on the, the primary drive side. There we go. So we, we pull power directly off the end of the crank, and it comes up here and drives the supercharger. Fly, fly. So versus the turbo where you have basically exhaust gases uh, or exhaust pressure spinning an impeller. Uh, we have it driving right off the end of the crank. This is a couple benefits for a couple reasons. One, there's no uh, exhaust heat you're having to worry about, but there's also no lag. It's instant power. So as soon as you uh, turn the throttle, you're going to be getting boost right away. Wow. And what did you think about what the boys were able to do in November? That 602 wasn't a flawless run. The computer said it would have been a 588. Yeah. What was the feeling at Pro Charger after you saw what Talk did there? Well, it was unbelievable. I mean, honestly, that's really the number everybody's looking for. I mean, the 602 is incredible. Uh, you get past the six second barrier and that's the, that's kind of the, the tipping point when everybody says, yep, that technology is the way to go and, and gets everybody moving in the right direction. You know, guys have run six O's, uh, or I'm sorry, six teams, let's say on, on Harleys. That record is, is uh, you know, 10 plus years old. So now it's time to go even faster. Let me ask you this, if talk goes into the fives, do you think everybody will use this technology or will it be something where NHRA says, well, we want to limit that and maybe take away supercharger? Well, you know, it's really hard to say. I would hope that they wouldn't only because it's, you know, it's it's pioneers and innovators of the sport. You know, this is what they do. And taking that, that innovative spirit out of, the, out of the hands of the tuners is really hard to do. But on the other hand, I think it'll really help the class. You know, they don't have to lean on the bike as hard to make it go the numbers, and that's a, that's a big deal. Very cool. Well, thank you so much, Walt from Pro Charger. We appreciate it, guys. There you have it. A supercharged Nitro Harley Davidson. Quite possibly what will be the first one in the fives. The DJ and the man from Japan, Takeshi Shikamatsu.